What's going on guys? Talk Aston Villa here back for the first episode of the Claire and Blue Report. I hope you guys are all doing well and we'll kick this video off with the biggest news in this so far. Fabian Delph in the next 24 hours looks like he will be completing his move to Manchester City for an agreed £8 million apparently. Obviously he signed, re-signed a contract extension in January to keep him at Villa and I think it was just more of those things where I respect this club of Villa they brought me from Leeds, gave me premiership experience, nothing more, nothing less. I'm not going to leave you in the dust. We'll give you some money from me. Best of luck and all that kind of stuff. And I have to say best of luck to Delph. I have to say this is going to be confirmed in the next 24 hours because every freaking newspaper is reporting it next 24 to 48. Uh, here tomorrow he's going to have his medical. So you'd have to say this is done. Obviously, City need more English players for the quota. So it just it makes sense we'll have to bring another midfielder in. Another out, Shea Given officially has moved to Stoke City. Two-year contract deal at Stoke. Obviously, Asmir Begovic has to be gone to Chelsea now. It's been reported he'll leave in the next 24 hours to Chelsea. So, with that, you have to wonder who's going to be the starter at Stoke. Him or Butland, I'd have to say a cameo rule there. Next, we'll go to Tony Moon. Another out. We're just getting rid of contracts here. Thank freaking God. Antonio Luna goes to Spanish side, Ibar on a two-year contract, only made 18 appearances for us, came in the summer of 2013 from uh, Sevilla. It's one of those sad things where I think he would have been a great left back for years to come for us. Homesickness was the thing reported. Obviously, a number of loan spells back to Spain um, in the first tier and second tier. So it, it really makes you wonder if that was. Obviously, he's most known for his goal in the 3-1 um, opener against Arsenal. <laughs> almost forgot that at the Emirates a couple seasons ago. Best of luck to him. He was a real fan favorite. Next, we'll go to Andros Townsend. Apparently Spurs want £15 million pounds for him. The English inflation never seems to surprise me, and I just think this is total bullshit bin material. If I was going <laughs> to reference messy seconds here, it's I can't see us paying that much. I know Tim Sherwood wants, wants young, middle-aged, I guess you could say, for a football career, English talent. 15 million pounds if we're selling Dell for eight. There's no way we're going to pay an extra seven on top of that for Townsend. I don't see this happening. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. So I give this one like a three out of five for now just to keep up speculation. Next, Villa are not in fact in for Cadova Ford, Florin, and Done. Finally nailed that um, that word or name, I should say. Two English clubs are. I've heard Norwich. I've heard Newcastle. I've heard almost everybody under the sun linked with this guy, but Villa are not one of those two English clubs linked with them. And I think we will leave it at Turkish newspaper Fanatic, I think that's how you say it, claims that we are bidding for Besiktas's under-21 international Swedish defender um, Alexander uh, Milosevic. I have papers right here, that's why I'm reading it. Do I think this is going to happen? Obviously he's been injured, out injured with a foot injury, young hot, hot prospect for the future. I don't see this happening. There's been nothing really reported with it. So I, I can't give this. I'd give this a 1 out of 5 if I was going to rate it, folks. I, I can't see it happening. I think we've learned from Hellenius, Tonev. I'm not saying they're awful players, but do we really want to risk that? I think Sherwood wants younger English talent, or just English talent in general, to come in, fight for the club, fight for the badge, believe in the club, and ultimately keep us up. I think that's the main message there. I don't think we're going to go in for randoms like this. But anyways, this is episode one of Claret, the Claret and Blue Report wrapped up. I hope you guys liked it. What do you guys think of the Delft situation? Shea given leave and it's a great thing, obviously, to shed a lot of contract there. What do you think about all that kind of stuff? Leave it in the comments below. Like the video, share it around, all that stuff on Twitter if you can. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow for some Delft news. Talk to you guys later.